Hey guys, welcome back to another deck profile. I'm Richard, and today we're going to be going right into our updated Nirvana deck profile featuring the new Virenas. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into it. Our starter is still going to be Sunrise Egg because, you know, aesthetic, and it's the one that came in the start deck. Uh, grade 1, this is for the ride deck. Um, still sticking with Reno, you know, searches out Trickstar when you ride Rayu on top of it, and it gets an extra 2k when it attacks. Um, Rayu are great too. Um, when it's wrote upon by Nirvana, you can Soul West 1 and search for Virena specifically, put it in your hand, and then it gets another 2k, kind of like Reno. And our grade 3 is going to be Nirvana. Uh, you discard a card from your hand, you search a grade 0 from your drop, so you would use that to get your Trick Stars back. And then when it attacks, you kind of blast one and all your units with the overdress ability and this unit get an extra 10k during the turn. So it Nirvana deck, you know, got to run Nirvana as your main grade three. So into the main deck, uh, we'll just go right into the Persona rides. So we're running three more copies of Nirvana because you want to maximize senior Persona ride. Same skill, um, Persona rides good. So we want to run all the stuff that came in the trial deck. So next up, we got a new grade three, and I'm gonna be running a decent amount of it. So we're running three copies of Virena Expecta. So Expecta's skill is um, you overdress this over a unit that's already in the overdress state. So Urger, Arcs, and Virena are your targets. Um, this gains the original power of all the original dress. So that and that's during your opponent's turn because it's continuous. So this is counting the grade two and Trickstar, because I believe Trickstar still counts as an original dress. The second skill, uh, continuing on, is auto when this attacks a grade three or greater vanguard, and if this is an overdress, you counterblast one, gets an extra 15k in a crit until the end of the battle. At the end of the battle, you put all the original dress into the drop, so you lose the grade two and Trickstar, but that's not terrible if you're depending on what matchup. If you're playing against um, Seraph Snow, you're gonna lose all the stuff in the stack anyways, so at least guaranteeing that Trickstar is in your drop zone is nice to know. Um, but also in general, just being able to make sure, oh, I still can get Trickstar to call for next turn, and I can still maybe have a beat stick on my board that's gonna get 10k from Virena or Nirvana's skill. So Expecto's pretty good as a kill card. Gabe, being able to swing with an extra crit with a really big number to bait out PGs can be helpful to kind of dwindle down your opponent's hand as much as you possibly can, so I think Expect is a pretty decent card in this deck. Um, that's it for Great Threes. We're still focusing around Nirvana, so we're still going to be running four copies of Virena Urger. So Urger's skill is Overdress over Trickstar. Um, the skill is when it's in your hand, at the end of the battle, your Trickstar attacked a Vanguard. If you have Nirvana as your Vanguard, you Soul Blast 2, and you Overdress this over your Trickstar during the battle phase. Um, in the stand position and then afterwards you counter charge so you get some counter charge out of that for a soul blast too when this is in the overdress state it gets 10k power and 10k shield so it's a 15k shield like a trigger and it's 20k beat stick uh, becomes 30k with uh, nirvana skills so urger is still a really good card obviously it's with the new nirvana coming out because it's specifically named to this one when the new Nirvana comes out, this one's going to be kind of wonky to be running, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to set four. Next up for grade twos, still a super staple card. This card's never going to go away. Virena Arcs. Um, you overdress over Trickstar. When you overdress, you kind of lost one, you draw two, and this gets an extra 5k. So resources, definite four of, and also uh, you can overdress over Trickstar, and then right after that, boom. Over just expecto over it. So now you got an even bigger beat stick. And even if you overdress, and then maybe next turn you're still in the overdress state because you know you didn't intercept with arcs, you can still pop this over. And so instead of making that a 10k vanilla, you get a big old what is it gonna be 28k? <laughs> so arcs is still a really good card. Alright, finally for our grade twos, two copies of Virena. Uh, it's your search target for Rayu's skill, and it's still a pretty decent beat stick. Um, skill is the overdress over Trickstar, and when this unit in the overdress state attacks a Vanguard, 
this gets an extra 10k for free, and then you may Soul Blast 2 to retire one of your opponent's rear guards. So in the overdress state, this is basically like a, I guess you could say a worse version of Urger, just because it's a 30k, but without the uh, counter charging skill. And you want to use the Soul Blast for battle phase attacks, so the Soul Blast for the retire, you're probably going to be using it, but um, it's still an overdress card, meaning you can go into, you know, overdress over Trickstar and then boom, go into Expecta during the main phase. It's a search target, so that way if you damage one, you still have the other to search. And it's discard fodder too, if you need to. So you can search your deck, add to hand, discard to call Trickstar if you need to. So I still think Virena at two is pretty important. So that's it for grade twos. We went on to our grade ones. I'm running three copies of Jimena. So Jimena's skill is when it's placed on the rear guard circle, you kind of blast one. You look at the top seven, look for a card with the overdress ability, add it to your hand, shuffle your deck. Um, Jimena is obviously going to help you try and search out your Urgers, so that way you have it in hand for those battle phase attacks. And if you don't find Urger, Arx is your next best target. <laughs> Um, just because, you know, getting resources is a little bit counterblast heavy, but I feel like still being able to add a card to your hand for a counterblast, especially, you know, maybe even if you add a Specta, just to throw it over something that's in the overdress state, just to apply more pressure. Um, Hemen is still helpful that way as well. So just running three copies just because space issues, but if you want to drop like, if you're, con if you're convinced you want to keep the one Virena, you can drop another one, add in another Jimena, you can do that. Next up, we're still running Tagachi Rashi. I am running three copies of it. So Tagachi Rashi's skill is when this is discarded your hand during your turn, you can put this into your soul. Um, you want the soul for Urger, and Nirvana skill is to discard to add Trickstar um, from drop to field. Um, so that you're gonna be discarding that way. You can also use it when you're discarding for your ride deck. So you discard Tagachi Rashi right into your next ride target. This goes into soul to help fill your soul for Urger's skill. So there's a lot of scenarios where you will be discarding and having three Tagachirashi for that helps the deck kind of have a little more synergy and soul, you know, for those Urger plays. So three and three for, you know, my grade ones. Three Himena, three Tagachirashi. And next for grade ones, or I should say maybe finally, we got RPGs, Twin Bucklers. So these are the DBT-01 PGs, it's if you have two or more in hand, you have to discard a card when you PG. So if you have two PGs in hand as your last two cards, you can PG for free and then PG for free. So this is uh, the better PG for every D standard deck. So definitely want to try and get these if you're building a D deck. So now we're going on to grade zeros. Before we get into triggers, we got to go into our Trickstar MVP of the deck. So Trickstar is the main focus of the whole deck, so running four of it. It's searchable, you call it from drop with Nirvana skill, and you want more Trick Stars so you can go into your Overdress units. So, Trick Star. Uh, it has a skill. It is that your opponent, it cannot be chosen by your opponent's card effect, so it can't be imprisoned, can't be retired, um, can't be locked, but uh, if it's have to do with a column and it picks something else in the same column, yeah, obviously it will still apply, but it's still nice to know that if you throw Trickstar on the board and you just want to kind of keep it there for a little 5k booster, it'll most likely stay there. All right, now we're going on to triggers. The uh, ever controversial over trigger. So we got Drag Veda. Drag Veda skill is when it's checked during your drive check. The additional effect is you can choose your Vanguard and stand it. Um, the obvious thing about this is that if you swing with Nirvana, use its skill, when you drive check, you get the over trigger, you restand your vanguard, you can swing again, counter blast again, give another 10k to your front row. So that's why I think Drag Veda uh, kind of shines a little more than the Cray Elemental over trigger. But the Cray, Cray Elemental over trigger is still pretty decent since you're going to have a front row of uh, overdress units anyways. Giving a Hundo Mill to both of them can help you push for game. Um, but, you know, restanding vanguard, get an extra attack, still good as well. So, Drag Veda. Going on to the rest of our triggers, a new trigger from DBT-03. We have crits with skills now. So we have Burning Flail Dragon. 
Uh, it has the skill at the end of the battle that this boosted, you can put into your soul, choose one of your units against 2k. So Urger uses soul, so obviously having a card that helps fill your soul will be helpful in that regard as well. So little thing you can do if you want, let's say you're in a persona, uh, persona state, I guess you could say, when you persona ride. So this would usually be a 9k column, which is now 19. So at the end of the battle that it, that it boosted, you move this to soul, give something 2k, and let's say now you finally have two cards in soul, you can pay the cost for Urger, overdress into Urger. So that's one of the little things that I feel like Burning Flail can help you in situations with during your battle phase if you're one away from your soul. So crits with skills are always good. And now we run the rest of our crits. So we have Conduct Spark. Uh, it's a crit without a skill, but crits win games. And also, if you drive check more crits and give them to Expecta, Expecta gets its own, gives itself a crit. So if your opponent's at three, swinging with three crit, that can be lethal. So that can help apply pressure to your opponent if maybe really early game or right, right away when you ride Nirvana, you go right into Expecta. That could help you push for game. So running crits will help you win the game faster <laughs> is basically the role the rule for this deck. Um, we're running three front triggers. Uh, this is the front with the skill, Blaze Maiden Parama. So if your opponent's at grade three or greater, this gets an extra 5k shield, so 20k shield, and it's a front. So you're swinging with Nirvana first, um, and even if you swing a Trickstar first, you go into Urger, so you still have two units to give the front row, apply that to. Um, fronts are pretty decent in this deck just because your Vanguard is the first one to attack before your other two rear guards. So I would say this is a deck where fronts do definitely shine. And last but not least, our four cutest heal trigger ever. Uh, we got Parasolus. Uh, it's a heal trigger without a skill because, you know, you can only run four heals in a deck. <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the triggers and for the main deck. So pretty much the way I see it is that Expecta does add a little bit more to the deck. The deck is pretty much almost exactly the same for the most part since DBT02. I feel like Virena Urger definitely, where is he? Virena Urger definitely changed up how the deck plays, but I feel like Expecta also definitely helps with matchups. So I would say Nirvana's worst matchup was Seraph Snow, and I feel like because you have Expecta as an option where you can just go overdress, overdress, swing for like 28 to 38 with an extra crit, and at the end of the battle, these two go to drop. So that way, if your opponent does imprison your overdress unit, you at least don't have to worry about those other two units also being imprisoning, imprisoned, imprisoning. Um, and expect it just applies pressure. So, you know, you do lose the overdress state, but it does have the overdress skill. So it's still gonna be getting 10K every single time you swing and you have this in your front row. So it's not awful, but um, you know, it's also discard fodder if you feel like you're not really gonna be using it during the game, but I really like this card a lot. So I'm a pretty big fan of how the overdress deck is looking so far. And obviously um, you're gonna be running more of these when set four comes out, cause there's that whole like grade three focus overdress play style for the new Nirvana and the new Virena, the grade fours. So getting your hand on these early will definitely help you a lot. So that's basically it. That was the Nirvana, Virena, Expect a Deck Profile. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully you guys enjoy seeing uh, this deck in the fights that we have coming. So that's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.